Hello everyone, this is S. Ram Kumar from Department of Mechanical Engineering from SNS College of Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about the TKM tools and techniques 1 and 2. We are having several tools and techniques in the uh, attaining of quality of the product in the sequence interval of time and also we can able to attain the quality of the product by following several stages tools and techniques. Today we are going to discuss about the basic tools which we are following existing existently in, in every industry. First one will be seven traditional tool, second one will be new management tool, third one will be benchmarking, fourth one will be failure mode and effective analysis and its procedure. Sixth one will be Six Sigma and its industrial application uh, in both manufacturing and IT sector. Seventh one will be control chart and process capability. For the uh, eighth one will be quality function deployment and the last one will be TQM concept and the performance measures. Uh, in, C, in seven traditional tools of quality, we can able to uh, follow this uh, seven tools through which we can able to attain the quality in the uh, in every <coughs> manufacturing and service based sector. First one will be process flow diagram. In process flow diagram, we can able to uh, map the process and we can able to identify where the process is lagging and the, uh, where the process is flowing in the proper manner. If the process in uh, while using the process flow diagram we can able to find uh, at which the quality of the product is getting drawback and also we can able to find uh, at which process the quality of the product is attaining very high. This is the first tool of uh, traditional tool and the second one will be check sheet. Check sheet is nothing but the quality chart through which we can able to uh, identify and we can able to mark by which uh, process we are uh, we are able we are capable of attaining it and we are capable of achieving it. With this check sheet we can able to conclude that the process is growing, growing in a uh, pro progress in the uh, regular time in the regular progress in the standard standard process as what they are required at what they are in the form of requirement through uh, the main the check sheet will be available if the process uh, if the product can capable to attain its own functional process in the frequent interval of time at per the customer expectation this is the second tool uh, available in the seven traditional tool the third one will be histogram by histogram we can able to identify uh, which factor or which parameter through which the quality is de deploying in the improper manner and also we can able to know that uh, which is supporting in all the factor for the for attainment of quality and the fourth one will be Pareto diagram Pareto chart or Pareto diagram through which we can able to find that at 20% uh, of problem is based on the 80% of uh, drawback in the process and the other uh, case uh, the just a 20% of dra output or drawback can able to support the 80% of problem. If the 20% is corrected properly, we can able to achieve the 80% of success. <clears throat> this is nothing but Pareto chart or Pareto diagram. With this Pareto chart or Pareto diagram, many companies, many process quality has been attained in many industries. Example, Toyota, Fortuner, like that. The leading ma automobile manufacturing sector the helps uh, with the uh, develops with the Pareto chart or Pareto diagram. And coming to the cause and effect diagram, the, this is the most efficient way through which a problem or through which the quality quality loss can be identified in the frequent interval of time. This is the chart which is helps to attain the cost and the remedial action by using the loss of the call loss of the quality at the every process. The fifth one will sixth one will be scatter diagram. In scatter diagram through which we can able to find that the precision is achieved in the frequent interval of time. Precision here refers to the product quality of that and the dimension tolerances. Within the tolerances and within the product limit, we can able to find this. We can able to enrich the quality of the product. And the last one will be chart chart diagram. In chart diagram, we can able to find that uh, in a frequent interval of time, we can able to attain the quality of the product uh, within the performance measures. 
if you are having the uh, product which has to be function in the frequent interval of time within an one hour it has to be performed and it, it if it is not performed uh, properly we can able to identify using this card chart these are the seven traditional tool through which we can able to find a product quality in, in the work in the shop floor in the workstation and uh, by the direct operator of the machine we can able to attain this process thank you